Hello, in this video I'll be introducing a new feature of Payara 5, the Domain Data Grid. I'll be doing two demos. The first will show you how to create the Domain Data Grid, and the second will show you how to use the Data Grid with a load balancer. Here you can see the environment used to run each of the demos. The environment contains six Linux VMs running on Microsoft Azure. Since creating the environment takes a bit of time, these quick demos will assume it's already created. As the diagram shows, the front end is composed of two instances, each installed with a Payara server and a Payara micro instance. Behind the front end is an internal load balancer. Behind this is the back end, which is composed of four instances, each installed with Payara micro. In this scenario, the front end will compute user requests, and the results will be sent to microservices in the back end. Let's start with the first demo. I'll show the domain discovery feature of the data grid and use it to add the Payara micro instances to the data grid on the running Payara server. Here you can see the admin console of Payara server. This table shows the states of the data grid just after the startup of the DAS. At this point, the DAS is only a member of the data grid, which means the list of instances has only one item. Now we can run Payara Micro and get it to join the data grid. In this command, you can see the dash dash cluster mode option that has only been added in Payara Micro 5. The reason for this addition is that the old Payara Micro only used multicast communication to join or leave a cluster. On a cloud environment, however, multicast is not supported or requires a complex configuration. Because of this, this command will be using the unicast communication introduced in Payara 5, which is more suited to a cloud environment. In Payara Server, Unicast is now the default with the introduction of the data grid. Payara Micro, however, still uses Multicast by default to maintain backwards compatibility. This dash dash cluster mode option enables Unicast on Payara Micro. Its parameters are the domain mode, which indicates using Unicast for joining the data grid, and the address of the DAS server and port. This allows it to explicitly seek out the DAS to join the domain data grid. In the test environment, a Payara server on the front end will have both a public IP and a private IP. Since the Payara server and Payara Micro are running on the same machine, we can use the private IP. The default port used by the data grid is 4900 by default unless it's been changed on the DAS. This command also uses the autobind HTTP option to make sure that Payara Micro uses a different HTTP port to Payara server. So, now we can run the Payara Micro instance. As you can see, it seems to join the data grid. To make sure of this, you can return to the admin console on the DAS. If the micro instance has joined, you'll see a micro instance added to the list of instances in the data grid table. Now we can run the Payara micro instance from the other VM and join it to the data grid. The procedure will be the same as for the previous one. Again, you can see the admin console to confirm. The list of instances will now have three items where two of them are micro instances. That's it for creating the data grid. No settings have been changed except for enabling Unicast on Payara Micro. You can also recreate this same scenario using only one PC. With the new data grid feature, the admin console now enables as admin commands to be sent to Payara Micro instances in the same data grid. I'll use that here to send the deploy command to the Payara Micro instances. Currently, no applications are deployed to any of the Micro instances. I've prepared a simple application that will return the IP address of the host machine. It's called ping.war. Here I'll deploy the application and confirm that it's working correctly. Still from the admin console, input the as admin command into this text box, then click the submit button. Wait for the command to run, and you'll soon see that the ping application has been deployed to the two micro instances. If you find that the application isn't deployed, check the Payara Micro logs for errors. Now we can confirm whether they're working or not. To do this, I'll access both the instances and then look at the result.
here we can see it's worked. So we've successfully operated the Power Micro instances using the admin console and the data grid. Let's start the second demo. In this demo, we'll be distributing HTTP access from the front end to the four instances of Payara Micro via the internal load balancer. Looking again at the diagram, I'll be using the four instances and the internal load balancer in this demo. Take note of the IP address suffix. The suffix of instances are 6 to 9 and the suffix of the internal load balancer is 10. Here you can confirm that the destination instance is using the suffix. To access the load balancer, I'll be using the front-end VM that we used in the first demo. Here it's going to be difficult to follow a request all the way through, since we can't be sure of whether a request has made it past the internal load balancer. I would recommend checking as I am here, running the curl command on the front-end VM to access the load balancer and confirm the response has returned from the destination. When you execute the curl command to access the internal load balancer, you can confirm which instance has responded. You should execute this command a few times to verify that the requests are being distributed amongst all the instances. If you receive a request from each of the instances, you know that the load balancer is distributing to all of the instances. Thanks for watching, and I hope this has helped show you the domain data grid feature of Bayara 5.